Hey guys, Baker here, and I've got another tutorial for you. It's going to be my shiny 3D text tutorial. It's going to be something like this. Now, this is uh, completely inside of After Effects, and I know you can probably do this easier with Cinema 4D or anything. And uh, here's another one I was kind of messing around with. Oops. Where it has two logos coming in. But that might be for another day, because that would take like, twice as long as this tutorial. Anyway, so I'd like to um, let you know in advance, this is not going to be a noob-friendly tutorial. Uh, you're going to have to know some stuff about After Effects to kind of follow along. But um, I'm going to try my best. So let's go ahead and make a new composition. I'm going to call this uh, Pre-Final. Alright, and 10 seconds, 1280 by 720, blah, 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 and I spelled fine wrong, but whatever. Alright, so let's start by making a new camera. 35 is fine. Okay. And a new null object. Make this null object 3D by hitting the 3D layer switch right here. And parent the camera to the null, with this little swirly thing, up to the null. So if we move the null, the camera will follow with it. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our little scene. So let's make a new solid. Um, size doesn't matter. Let's call this floor. And black is fine. We're going to go over to our effects and presets and type in... Once this stupid thing loads. Type in ramp. Generate ramp. Drag that onto your floor. And let's go ahead and make this black a dark gray. Turn your floor into a 3D layer. Push R for rotation. Rotate it negative 90 degrees for the X rotation. Negative 90. Alright, and then let's go to a um, custom view really quick. So we kind of see what we got here. Got our floor. And um, it's a little skinny so what we're gonna do is go over here and type motion tile drag that onto your floor and increase the output width to maybe 300 doesn't matter it's not gonna be that like we don't need that but whatever okay once you've done that duplicate your floor call this the wall hit R for rotation and rotate it back up to the what the, negative 180 for the X rotation push P for position screwed it back so using the Z parameter until <coughs> it's that back to the floor and move it up so it makes a little connection Let's see right right there Looks good. so going back to our active camera and we're on the plane of the floor so go to your null object push P and raise or lower the uh, Y position, so got this floor looking thing right there. All right. So once we got that, now we need to make our 3D logo and stuff. So let's make a new composition. Call this logo comp. 720. Got to be the same, same size. Okay. Click OK. Now I'm gonna use, be using my friend's logo from TS Designs. So I'm just going to drag this out here, and uh, pretty large, I'm going to scale this down. Um, let's center this by bringing up the title action safe, and you know, just kind of, you know, how you like it. It's a little large still, so, up there. And this is all going to be done procedurally, so I'll show you what that means later, and this will make this uh, a lot easier to work with. Okay. So to, once we have that, take your logo comp. Drag it into the new comp button right next to your 8-bit channel, 16 or 32, whatever you're working with. So it makes a logo comp 2. So let's rename this to logo texture. Okay. So um, we can leave that for right now. Now take your logo comp, drag it into a new comp again. So we have logo comp 2. Rename this to logo uh, edges. And then, let's see here. Okay, we'll work with the edges now. So let's double click on edges. So we're in that comp. 
<coughs> duplicate this logo comp down here. So we have two of these. Go to your effects and presets and type in choker. Simple choker. Drag it on the top layer. Now let's choke it about, let's, I think it was five pixels. And then you change the track mat, <coughs> excuse me, of the lower comp to alpha mat. Just getting alpha inverted. There we go. So it makes these little lines of the, uh, the logo. Okay. Now let's go to our texture now. And we will take our edges and drag that on. <coughs> we will fill this. So I'll type in fill. Drag it onto your edges. Let's fill this. I use like a really light white. Okay. So if you see, so we got basically this. And we need to make a new layer. Call this um, noise. Doesn't matter what color, because we'll put on a fractal noise. Drag this on. And I believe I use complexity, turn this down. A lot. I think it was like one. Yeah, let's see. So contrast, boost the contrast a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And let's probably scale this down a little bit. Actually, we can play with it later, but um, brightness a little bit down, maybe. About there. So, what's going to happen is these edges, you're going to use the track mat of Luma Mat. So, we only have like part of those edges showing up. And what's going to happen is we're going to animate the evolution. So, stop, click the stopwatch, move forward till about, uh, let's say, four seconds when our animation, when you want it to stop, basically. Let's just go ahead and move it three. So let's see how this looks. So got some lines moving everywhere. It's going crazy. Blah blah. Go ahead and push view and click easy ease. Keyframe assistant easy ease. So it'll gradually slow down and oh, oh look nice. All right. Um, go ahead and make a new comp again. We call this side texture. Same size everything. Go back to the texture and copy the noise and paste it over here and click the I. So we have that same goopy stuff, right? And it should stop around four seconds. All right. Let's see. Um, okay, so let's go back over here. So now we're going to actually start our 3D stuff. So let's make a new solid called 3D logo. Go over here and type shatter. Now this is a interesting uh, effect that makes 3D stuff. There's a lot of limitations for this, like lighting. It's kind of weird. The camera stuff I haven't really figured out exactly because it gets off. Um, doesn't create shadows, etc. So what we're gonna do first is drag in our logo comp edges texture and side texture into this. Comp and turn these off because we don't need to see them. All right. The 3D logo. <clears throat> Let's go to shape and change bricks to custom. And then the map, we're going to do logo comp. So there we go. But let's see if it shows it. Come on. Maybe put it down the cord. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> falls and stuff. That's because there's a force because it's supposed to be like an explosion effect. So turn everything down to zero. And physics, turn the gravity down to zero as well. So we just get the static static thing. Okay. And um, extrusion depth, that's how far we want our logo to extend. If you can kind of see this, like if I change the camera. So we got this, you know, 3D looking thing. So I used about, let's see, extrusion, I think I used one. <clears throat> camera, let's go to the camera now. Focal length, this needs to be the same as your camera that you made in the beginning. So, 35 millimeters. So, change your camera focal length to 35. Now, it's pretty far away, so, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and, where is it? Z position, move that back to where you want it to end. Okay. Let's go up to four seconds keyframe, the Z position, and all the rotations. 
and let's scoot back. Um, let's rotate this. I think I did like all 45s for this. 45, and then bring the Z position towards the camera and past it. So it'll fly past us. Logo comes in and stops. And of course, we're gonna add easy ease stuff later, but. To get the shiny effects, here's what I did. So go into your 3D logo, shatter, go to textures, front mode layer, front layer, we're going to use the logo texture. So we got a little bit of lines coming in, see these? Let's see, lines are kind of moving, looks like it's almost shiny, you know, see that? Yeah. Alright, so side texture. Obviously, this is going to be side texture. And with that animating, you get these shiny little lines on the sides of your logo. Looks all shiny stuff. And then back layer, we're not really seeing the back, but um, it's just going to be. I'll oh, skip that for now. Whatever. Um, now, it seems a little kind of dim, so go to lighting and just turn up the ambient light a little bit. About 0.5. So makes the whites a little bit brighter. Makes it look really shiny now. And um, here's a little another trick I used for lighting. So go to your front texture. Go ahead and make an adjustment layer. And <clears throat> go to curves. Drag that onto your adjustment layer. And brighten the darks up about halfway. I think. Man, that's too much. Like that. And use your pen tool to kind of kind of make like a curvy curvy shape like that and just go ahead and close it and animate the position of this so at four seconds we want it to stop let's see let's move it right about right about there and then the beginning we want this to go down pretty much fill the whole thing so when we look at this now we fine now we'll zoom in here you know, and then the brightness of the front kind of looks like it's moving, kind of like, kind of like a realistic reflection. But of course, they're not real because this is After Effects and it's not really a 3D program at all. Huh. And that's the gist of that. Um, I made. Stop biting on my headset, kitty. Get out of here. Okay. To make a shadow, what I use is I duplicated the 3D logo, turned that into a 3D layer. Rotated it negative 90, I believe. Yeah. And blurred it out. That's blur. I think I used like 25 or something. Probably more than that, 50. Yeah. Alright. So it stopped, the animation stops at 4 seconds. So I'm going to push P, Shift S to bring out the position and the scale. Keyframe those. Bring it forward. And let's see, just scoot this back a lot and just scale it down to maybe like 50%. And put this under your 3D logo because this is the shadow. Alright, so it's kind of like. And we might just want to go ahead and click fill, put that before the blur, and make it black, or even just a light gray. So, it's a fake shadow, but it looks, looks right. And, um, you don't have to do this either, but it makes your intro that much better. Call this flare. If you have optical flares, go ahead and put that on. Here's what I did. Go to options, and I believe I used <coughs> presets. Kind of slow here, sorry. Light. And then JJ down here with the two little anamorphic flares. Pretty sexy, I think. And then go ahead and put that on the side middle and set the transfer mode to add. Yeah. So it comes in. So it's, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to go over today. Um, dang it, we're up to like 15 minutes now. Darn it, I didn't want to go this late. I might have to split it up into two parts, I'm not sure.
But, um, alright, well, since I'm going to do that, um, I'll just go ahead and keep going a little bit. So let's go ahead and take our text tool, type right under here. Um, name. Yeah. Key, stop playing with the papers! Alright, sorry. Go ahead and put a ramp on that. And move the uh, endpoints down. And you can change the colors, but I don't really want to. Ouch! Sorry. Don't want to go over that. Let's go ahead and put your name there. Alright. Um. I uh, don't know what else to go over, so I am guess I'll just stop here, I guess. Oh, and what I was saying about procedural is if you change the logo comp over here in the very beginning, let's say if we put a text here like, um, like LOL, and uh, we just size this up, whoa, size this up, put it in the middle again, take off that logo. All the way in the front, look at that. A giant LOL. And uh, everything changes just like that. It's pretty pretty easy. And uh, you get some nice edge reflections, side reflections. I think it looks decent for After Effects. Um, yeah. So, um, sorry if this was long and it was kind of out of control. Um, confusing at all. What I'm going to do with the uh, project file is I don't really want to just give it out right away because I want you guys to learn from these and I want to see that you learn from these. So if you can go ahead and follow this and kind of recreate this tutorial and you show me that you can really do it, then I'll let you have it. But that's basically it. Um, yeah. Alright, I guess I'll... Guess we'll stop now. Make sure to like the video, please. I love you. Okay, bye.